The lateral split save uh, is a save used when the ball is wide of the goalkeeper. Uh, in futsal, the, the floor the generally is quite hard, the so the, the goalkeeper's diving too much, um, yeah, so too much impact on the side of the body. Uh, the lateral yeah, split yeah, save yeah. is a more effective and efficient yeah. form of saving the ball when it's low and moving the ball away from goal to angles of safe areas. So we're now going to have a look at the lateral split save. I think very important that we have a look at the, the physical process, the preparation that, that's needed by the goalkeeper. Technically, we're going to look at that and work on that anyway and talk about the detail around that. But I think there's, there's a certain amount of physical preparation that needs to go into it. So all I'm going to get you to do, Jack, is there's a three or four stage process. So you're going to start on a knee, doesn't matter which side you go, OK? And we're not going to put too much weight bearing on any part of the body at the moment. But what we're going to get used to and comfortable is obviously uh, having balance, yeah, and making sure that if we work whichever side we're working, yeah, we're used to the way that the body is being stretched and moved gradually to end up dropping into that lateral split save. Okay, yeah. does that make sense? So all I want you to do, take the weight on the knee and on the heel, start in an uh, upright position. Still, you're just going to deliver the ball so it ends up around about just over Jack's toe. The more comfort Jack has with that, the more you can stretch him a little bit. So it can sometimes even go outside the line of the toe. But all I want you to do, Jack, from that position is stretch and reach for the tennis ball, secure it, pop it back to the end, but then sit back up into that ready position. OK, as soon as you're ready, off you go. Yep, good. Good. Think about his arm length, so he might have to go a little bit wider. Yep, good. That's it. Good. And hold it there. So if you can, Jack, rather than sort of crouching over it, can you try and keep your upper body upright, yeah, and just work there? Because obviously when you drop into your split, the upper body is going to be upright as much as possible rather than leaning over. The other reason why we're doing that is because obviously when you drop into your split, your hand and your arm becomes the secondary save mechanism. So you're either saving it with your foot, saving it with the hand, or a combination of the two. So you're working the two in tandem and working them together. Keep that upper body upright. Yeah, just drop there. That's better. Good. Good. Better. And relax. Good. So now, deal the next part of the process. So we've started very little weight bearing. Nice and easy and simple. Just really working on stretching and working with the hand and, and, and foot in tandem together. Now I want you to start to lower the body. Yeah. So we're starting to... Um, kill the space and lessen the space between the, the back of the leg and the floor and we're now starting to take a little bit more of a weight on the heel but I'm still pointing the toe into the floor so I'm not flattening the foot out yet so I'm taking the weight on the heel and on the toe but I'm still keeping my upper body forward and balanced yet yeah? and we're still going to think about using and working the hand and foot in tandem together off you go good a little bit wider Jack yeah a little bit wider good that's it good well done. Good. And hold it there. Stay there. So again, when you think about the split save, think about your body shape. So you'll throw the nearest leg out that you're using. Your hand will come in as a secondary save mechanism. That's why we're getting you used to having the two working together. You look at your other hand. Now that's up and it's balance, but also another side mechanism. If you drop into your split, and the ball is then driven across your body, at least you've got an opportunity to save with that backhand. And obviously the, the back leg is now giving you balance when you drop into your split. But look how wide and open that shape is and how much more of the goal you're going to cover. So we've started quite high up, yeah, no real weight bearing. The next phase was to sit down on the back of the my, my sort of buttock on the, the heel. I'm still on my toe, yeah. What I want you to do now, again, to lower the back of the leg closer towards the floor. Now, flatten your foot out. Yeah, so you're actually going to flatten your foot out behind you and sit down with your buttock on your heel so your foot is flush to the floor. And now again, we've reduced the space underneath here. Yeah, does that make sense? Yeah. Okay, so you're not throwing the foot out to the side yet, but you're just balancing on the heel, taking that weight bearing in. Is that all right? Off you go. Good, yeah, so they're working together. Yep, yeah, there you go. So you've dropped to the floor, now you're using the hand as that secondary save mechanism. Good, body weight forward, good, and relax, hold it there. We've now gone into the final part of the process, okay? So if you look now, the, the back of the leg that you're using, yeah, in other words, for instance, the ball's coming this side of the goal, you're driving across with the nearest foot to the ball, your leg now is flush to the floor. So you've dropped into your split shape, 
your leg is flush to the floor, the back of your leg is flush to the floor, and now you'll also bring the hand in as a secondary side mechanism. Your back hand will be out across your body as a, another side mechanism, and now your balance is on that back leg, okay? Because obviously, I don't want you to put a hand down, because if you put a hand down, then you haven't got that side mechanism at that back half of the goal if you need it, all right? Body weight forward, head forward, and also, if you can, try to start from a central position and bring the hand out so that you're using it as that secondary side mechanism as you would if you dropped into your split safe, okay? Couple of throws, Jack, off we go, yep. Secure, good, upright, drop in, upright, good, well done, yep. Stretch him a little bit further if you want to, good. So we just open his range up a little bit, one more. And relax, hold it there. Start from the middle to begin with, come to the near post, action, turn and I'll fizz you across and then you can just start from the middle again ready yep let's go in yep there good and again yep in yes there good settle yep in yes there and again one more yep in yep good and relax just to bring some sort of realism to your practice and why we're doing it so it could be for instance that you've got dragged towards the near post yeah the ball now is in an area to the side of the goal. It's then played back to an attacker ready and waiting to finish around the edge of the D. But all I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn and play in the practice across you. But in the game, it could go anywhere. So all I want you to do is think about the action there first. That's getting you away from where the ball is going to end up here. As you turn now, just pick up your triggers. Just see what I'm doing. So what I don't want you to do is just turn and drop into a split because that wouldn't be realistic for you. Yeah. But as you turn, now realise and recognise what I'm doing in terms of my body shape, my triggers, then if I play there, that's when you can go and execute your split. Yeah. Now, if you can, timing-wise, try not to go too early, because what I want is I want you to try and get contact to foot on ball, yeah, to move the ball away from goal. So in essence, what we're not doing here is diving, yeah? As a goalkeeper, that's probably your first thought, you want to dive, but in futsal, we'll split because of the floor, the pace that the ball's moving, the distance is away from you. It's more effective and efficient for you to move your feet and get a foot on the ball and push it away from the goal. Yeah. So that's in essence where I want the ball's going if we can. So the timing is important. Okay, are we ready? Set of four, let's go. Yep, yep, there. And again, let's go. Yep, in, yep, there. Good touch, well done, yep. Yes, yes, there. Touch, love it, yep. And again, yes, there. Good, 